here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 16. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Come on, give me some good action here. <laughs> Fast improvements. He loves it. He loves a good fight. Not bad. <clears throat> oh he gives him really some training and tips So just channel it everywhere at once. Think of your whole body as one. <coughs> Man, he has a lot of, like, wisdom. <laughs> or he sounds very wise. Which I didn't thought of, really. <laughs> he didn't appear to be a character like that, I would say. He seems more hot-headed and all that stuff, right? So him being like that, like the wise guy, the teacher guy, is interesting. I think that's very interesting. Like I said, he seemed like all the time like the hot-headed guy, right? Just fighting and all that stuff. But then he comes around here and is like the teacher, has wisdom. And gives good examples like how it should work, how it is. And how you should do stuff. And I'm lacking the, word, uh, the words right now. <laughs> <clears throat> but I can see that Toto and Itadori will be good friends in the future, maybe. If we see more of Toto. I 
Unless it's like, yeah, we see him now and then we won't see him for like the whole rest of the series. <laughs> it's over. But I don't think so. Okay. <clears throat> Give me action. Of course it switches. <laughs> oh that's my <clears throat> oh no it's makeup boy We will see about that. Hardship. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. What the fuck? Is he controlling it from somewhere else? <clears throat> yeah, what can Panda do, right? <laughs> oh, he takes it head on. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, Panda is... Oh, he's not a real Panda, okay. That's interesting. Oh, that's why he has... That's why he has like a like character and can think and all that stuff for himself because uh, he's a mutation. <laughs> God damn. <clears throat> <laughs> 
ass to the face. That's interesting. Yeah, I can imagine, right? What what good does the power do you if you can't really go outside by yourself? That must suck so much. Oh, damn. Again? <laughs> but wouldn't he have hit his teammate too? If Nubara was on range? In line? <laughs> if he was dead, then he should be disqualified, right? What the fuck? King Kong Panda! <laughs> what the fuck? Panda is not a panda. <laughs> I guess that's true. Panda is the second year, right? <clears throat> we have second years and first years fighting against third years. God damn. That's not a shield, that is... <laughs> That's a spike, dude! <laughs> God damn! That seems crazy. Gorilla? Okay, so I was kind of right with King Kong. King Kong Panda. So what now? Thank <laughs> you. 
Or something completely different. Damn, the OST. Slapping. Oh, what? He had something in his hand. Okay. So he can't sense where the cores are? Did he actually? Nope. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, his ear has a bit of fling out. <laughs> I'm a panda, dude. <clears throat> Is 
exchanging numbers. Retired. Okay, next fight, let's go. <clears throat> ah, god damn, dude. The end. Okay, let's see the stroll. Because you are the best, we trust you. All right. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But damn, this episode was pretty much just panned on Mechamaru. We just had like the bit at the beginning with Toto and Itadori, which I think is interesting again because Toto is basically it is basically teaching Itadori how to get better, how to use his curse energy better and everything. And I guess that makes sense, right? Because Toto wants a good fight and Itadori has the potential. He knows that Itadori is improving fast while fighting. And by helping him to improve with his abilities and getting stronger and getting to utilize them better, he gets a better fight out of this, right? If he can get if he can get Itadori better, then Itadori will be better, which is a better fight. So makes sense that he's doing that, right? And I mean he also sees him as a friend because <laughs> He has the same, Itadori has the same views how a good girl, how a girl should look, right? So, yeah. Like I said in the episode, I think it's interesting that Toto is actually, seems like a good teacher. Um, because before he just looks like someone that wants to fight and nothing else really. And well, a person that is into idols and stuff. And yeah, then we had the beginning with um, uh, Nobara and Panda mocking the girl a little bit. And then Mechamaru came in. And from there it was basically just Mechamaru and Panda. And it's interesting. I thought Panda was an actual panda. It's surprising that he's a doll. Because the dolls we saw so far didn't talk and were like way smaller in size right and i mean if it's like a doll like a curse corpse i think it's called um i wouldn't imagine that he can just grow and talk and think like a human basically i would say and also interesting is that he has like three cores i mean i <clears throat> i say it's interesting but i mean i think so far we didn't even know that these curse dolls or cursed corpses had any cause, so now we found out. Okay, normal, normal is like one, uh, it's like one core, and he has three. And based on which core he uses, um, he has a different mode basically. So we saw two of them right now: the normal panda mode, then the gorilla mode, and he has another one that isn't shown yet because, I mean, it got destroyed at the beginning. Well, I guess it's not destroyed; it's just like damaged, I guess. Um, I wonder what happens if a core gets destroyed. Can you repair it? Or 
is it just gone forever or can you put another core inside what happens if all three cores are destroyed is he just dead and stays dead or can you like switch cores or whatever i guess we might find that out at some point later i guess maybe and yeah interesting mecha Moro. i i was like i said not like i said but i last episode or two episodes ago or so i was wondering if he's like actually like an android or something or if he's like a real person it seems like he was an android or something but not really he's just like basically a drone that is like controlled basically i guess which is interesting i guess and yeah kind of like a sad backstory guy is like has like no legs not a right arm and is like very uh like sensitive towards basically everything it seems like even moonlight is too much for his skin and all that stuff it's kind of like having glass bones just way worse <laughs> i guess so yeah i mean that sucks and like you said if he could change his powers to be able to get a normal body he would do it in a heartbeat i mean that makes i mean yeah that makes sense right i mean like i said in this episode what good does the powers do you if you can't do anything with it really except like control it from far away but you can't go outside you can't do anything but you have these powers which you can just use to control something from far away so yeah makes sense <clears throat> i wonder if we get maybe makes me wonder how much we will see these characters right Maybe at some point we can, we get maybe another story of that guy and maybe he gets a cure somehow and can get outside maybe or something. Will be interesting how much we see the Kyoto students, right, from in the future or not. But yeah, I mean, otherwise not much going on, right, I would say. So yeah, next episode. I guess from what it looks like with the end of this episode, maybe we see Maki fighting the blonde girl, uh, the blue hair girl, and or maybe someone else. I guess maybe, I guess we maybe also see Itadori and Toto again. It seems like that we always get like a glimpse of Itadori and Toto and then something else. And then like... I guess at the end of this whole event, then the final showdown is basically Itadori and Toto, how they fight and how that concludes, I guess. I guess that will be the highlight. And up to that point, we see the other guys fighting and all that stuff. So it will be interesting to see what abilities the others have and how those fights will go. But I guess so far, Panda won. Mechamaru lost. So that's 1-0 for Tokyo. It will be interesting to see how the scores at the end. Like I said, I don't think that Tokyo will win all the fights. I guess there will be some winners and losers on both sides. I could also see that maybe Itadori will lose against Toto. That he is strong, but not quite there yet. And that that will be maybe a small setback for Itadori. That basically shows him he has to get stronger and better. But I guess we will see. So yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.